Barbara Mangini from Comadas Kitchen, a Godmother's Kitchen. And today we are making baked eggplant, stuffed. And this is a wonderful summer dish brought out straight from the garden or the farmer's market, and it's so easy to make. But first, my apron from my collection. What's so special about this apron today is it matches my pants. I'm a crazy person for prints, especially flowers. So it makes me feel bright and cheerful when it's a little dreary outside. All right, what I've done is I took an eggplant, a whole eggplant, medium size, because I'm just making this for two people. You can make more than one eggplant or a bigger eggplant. And I sliced it uh, lengthwise. And then I put it in a pot of water to boil for about, once the water comes to a boiling point, you wanna boil the whole eggplant for about 10 minutes. The whole eggplant, but cut in half. Now that it's cut in half, we are going to spoon this out of here. But if you look here, I have a ball of ground meat. So what we're going to need in this recipe, this is one pound of ground meat. And we're gonna bake this at 350. I already have the oven set. So one pound of ground meat, about three fourths of a cup of breadcrumbs. Of course, it depends how much ground meat you use. And then one egg, just gonna dump that in there. Salt and pepper to taste, whatever you like, that's going in there. And here I have chopped onion, put a little bit of that in there chopped Italian parsley, and chopped sweet basil. And over here I have one clo clove of garlic chopped. Now I wanna stop here a minute because I always talk about Italian parsley. I wanna show you what it looks like. Italian parsley will have a very flat leaf like that. It won't be curly. So you can tell the difference in your grocery store if it isn't marked has a little stronger, more flavorful taste, and I like it much better than regular parsley. The next thing we're doing is taking this eggplant, you wanna get it close up here, and we are going to dig the middle of this eggplant out, preserving the uh, shell. Sometimes it's a little harder to get out, so I just use a little paring knife and it usually comes out pretty easy once you get the little knife involved. You wanna keep the shell intact as much as you can. There you go. And don't worry about those dark seeds. They make it even better. As I take this out, I want to chop it up a little bit. We don't want big strands of it in there. And this is gonna cook more in the stuffed eggplant, so it doesn't have to be completely cooked. In fact, we don't want it completely cooked or it would ruin the outside shell. Okay, I'm cutting this around, trying to keep the bottom intact. This is so delicious. If you like eggplant, you will love this dish because it just makes the meat so much tastier. All right, I'm gonna take this, chop it up, I hope you're looking on my godmother's page. Um, up at the top, you can go straight to recipes now. You don't have to look through all the feed to find one recipe, which is a good thing. Same with all the uh, growing up Italian videos and everything. I hope you will visit my YouTube page. Just go to YouTube to Godmother's Kitchen. And there's a lot of older recipes that I had made a couple of years ago that are on there. Now you have to forgive me, but I'm not the kind of person that likes to stick her hands into all that meat. So I'm gonna put a pair of gloves on for a second. See how easy this is? This could actually be one of my short cooks, except for the bake time. And as far as the bake time, you're gonna bake this about 30 minutes. Just keep an eye on it and stick a knife in it like you would a cake and make sure that it's done. I'm having a hard time getting these on because my fingers are wet. 
Okay, good enough. Now, just simply gonna mash that eggplant into that mixture. And when I'm done, if I have leftover, because it wasn't, I didn't have enough eggplant, I don't want any more eggplant than that, I'll just make little tiny meat loaves out of these and put them in there. And they are great on an Italian bun uh, for a sandwich. You can even heat a little marinara sauce and put a little cheese over it, and it's really good. And you want this mashed really good. Anytime you mix meat, you want to keep mixing it until it's nice and smooth. And that's the secret also to making really good meatballs, is to mix that meat. I learned that from my mother-in-law, John's mother, Rose. She made the best meatballs I ever tasted. I've never been able to duplicate them, but my son can. My son likes to cook, John, and my husband, John, loved to cook. John just does not want to be on camera, but he makes some really good meals. Okay, now let's have a close-up of what that looks like. All you see in there now are the little chunks of um, eggplant. That's what it looks like when you're done mixing it. So I'm going to fill this eggplant shell with the meat. Now this is another thing that you can serve it just like this. I'm not putting sauce on this. But if you wanted to, you could certainly make a little marinara sauce and put it over this and it would be delicious. But I'm making it more like a meatloaf. In fact, it is an, uh, a basic Italian meatloaf recipe. And the only difference is you're adding the eggplant to it. So easy, easy. I love easy because I'm always in the kitchen cooking. Gonna start doing some desserts. Fall is coming, and I can't wait to make all the candies and snacks for fall and for Halloween and apple and pumpkin rolls and all kinds of things. Okay, and I'll make a couple. Well, I'll make one little meatloaf here, and John can slice this up for sandwiches on a nice Italian semi-hard roll. Okay, we're ready to go. So now in my pan, I put just a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit. And I am now going to put this in the pan and I will brush just a little bit of olive oil over the top of this because we want the top nice and brown. So just a little bit. So just put a little bit of olive oil in there and just brush it on top. If you want, you can put some salt and pepper and garlic salt on top, but I wouldn't use any other spices on this. It's kind of good just the way it is. Look how you're gonna have that meat, that eggplant through there. All right, I'm now putting this in the oven again at 350 degrees for about a half an hour, and I will be back to show it to you when I take it out of the oven. For now, ciao. Hi, I'm back, and I just took the stuffed eggplant out of the oven. Let me show you what it looks like here in the pan. It's nice and brown on top. And I told you before I put it in, this was one pound of meat, so I estimated about 30 minutes. And I told you put a knife in to see if it was done. It actually took 40 minutes and it was perfect. So now I'm simply going to cut my eggplant. There we go. Oh, it's, it's perfect. Cut it in nice big pieces. And I made a little salad here. I'm going to put it on the dish with the salad. There we go. Every time I make these videos, John gets hungry, and so do I. And sometimes, I always like to put take a picture to put on 
to introduce what the video is, but a couple times, John and I ate the food before I remembered to take the pictures. <laughs> so you got a couple of food lovers here. All right, I'm gonna put a couple more pieces. Look how much you get out of one pound of ground meat and one eggplant, and I still have my little meatloaf left for sandwiches. So I'm putting this here. Again, if you wanted to put some marinara sauce, you could. But trust me, it's good just as it is. I made a little Italian dressing for my salad. So I'm just going to pour that over the salad. And there's a wonderful meal. It's a nice meal for four, for six. And this is what it looks like. So I want to get a nice close-up of that. And if you enjoy the videos, if you enjoy the Growing Up Italian videos and interacting with other people that have your same love of cooking, please send your friend. As of this morning, we have 419 members. So let's keep them coming. Thank you so much. And until I see you next time, ciao.